think I would say to the critics that think the restaurant business is a, a dead-end minimum wage job is that um, maybe they don't have all the information. For more than a year, groups backed by powerful labor unions have been organizing protests around the country at fast food restaurants, demanding the minimum wage be raised to $15 an hour. In Wisconsin, these protests have taken place in Milwaukee, Madison, Wausau, and other cities across the state. While the organizers want you to believe that these are spontaneous grassroots events, they are actually political propaganda, fully coordinated and funded by big labor, with the goal of increasing union membership and their political power. The professional protesters have painted a picture that it is impossible to get ahead in life if you work a minimum wage job, and that a minimum wage job automatically traps an individual into a never-ending spiral of poverty. While the mainstream media has covered the picket lines and the bullhorns, what has been missing from the coverage is a fair look at minimum wage jobs and if these entry-level jobs provide an opportunity for advancement. What the union bosses don't want the public to know is that with hard work and determination, an entry-level job can be the start of a successful career, a career that can lead to meaningful advancement, and a career that can support a family and a comfortable lifestyle. The MacGyver Institute recently sat down with three Wisconsinites that all started working at minimum wage jobs. Today, after putting in long hours and constantly striving to better themselves, they now manage, operate, and own the very restaurant where they got their start. Actually, my entire management staff have all started at Culver's in high school and have uh, moved their way up into management. Um, I have one for sure that wants to kind of take the path I did and, and get into ownership, and that's really awesome. Um, and the other two are uh, still working their way up into being uh, upper level management. I started as a crew member, which is the entry level um, with Culver's. Um, I believe while I was in high school, I advanced into trainer or like a crew leader um, type position. Um, I don't think I really got into management until after I graduated from high school. Um, but each step of the way, I was definitely compensated for the higher expectations of my position. And now that they are the owners, they are making sure to help their employees find the same success they did. For me, with my employees that I have is they can see what I've done that they could possibly do the same thing. Um, I'm big on promoting from within. Um, uh, the general manager at the store in Pewaukee has been here since it opened up, uh, Raphael, and he's now the general manager. And uh, like I told him, I will do four stores. I need somebody to do the district manager job. And he said he'd be able to do that. Um, does a phenomenal job. Um, the assistant manager was a crew person. The shift managers have all been crew people. It's moving in and up, I think, where it's the best for us. Maggie, Abby, and Darren are just a handful of the workers that have climbed the ladder of success in their fast food careers, even though they started at the bottom, and even though they started out by flipping burgers and washing dishes. The MacGyver Institute presents a different way to look at the minimum wage debate, actual stories of persistence and perseverance. In this series, we will bring you real-world examples of success, we will bring you their stories in their own words of how they used the opportunity they were given with a minimum wage starter job as a springboard to better themselves and to a better life. I'm a perfect example and there's hundreds of examples of people out there that have done what I've done. And uh, yeah, you can work your way up, but it's not handed to you. You have to work for it. You have to put the effort in. Um, and you can move up in this business. And if you don't want to move up in the business, that's fine, but you, you, you're still working hard and setting goals. Um, you can still make a, a livable wage working at a restaurant. And I think that's, that's the important thing to know, that it's not, it, it can't just be handed to you. You have to work for it. Everybody has to start somewhere. Stay tuned for future videos in the MacGyver Institute's series, Raising Up Wisconsin, How Minimum Wage Jobs Turned Into Family Support and Careers.